After Cebu, we headed straight to Negros Occidental. Our first stop was in Bacolod, where we met different instructors from various systems. Instructors included Maestro Felix Ginabo of Sungkudan Degros Multi-Style System. Maestro Felix also makes high quality training sticks as well. Contact him if you need any training gear. It's uh, very uh, rare. 21 notes in 28. Look at this. Four, this is four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, seventeen notes. Seventeen notes too. We also met GM Romeo Pastrano of Mandatos Arnis Sikaran Kali. He showed their approach to Ispada Yidaga, which reminded me of what my first FMA instructor taught. Then again, he also was from Negros, so there had to be similarities in the region. Another instructor, Tuhan Nonoy Garucho, of Sundangan, Kali, and Piquet Tersha Kali. So you move around, you move around, real quick, real quick, good, good, good. Destroy the senses. How? One, two, boom! Right. You see? Mm -hmm. You bring him down. Now, here's what is on your lap. That's it. Okay? You lock your leg, you tilt this, oh, ah. then you can fall back up. Hey, police. And it was a real treat to meet and learn from Tapado instructors GM Kiko Presno, GM Wilbur Presno, and Maestro Reynaldo Marticio of Lagas Tapado Layal Pagamot Mamar Presno System. I got to find out more about Tapado and its history. Now uniform. This is him. And his mentor is this, not being Mamar. And the father is known Mamar. The father of the family. Okay, then he taught me first. After one month, he introduced me to this person. After two months, he introduced me to this person. From then on, there were three. I had three mentors. Right? You you come from your parents, then that's your lineage. Then you should pay respect. Show respect to the lineage. Some people would disagree, right? Okay, but for me it's important like if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. Like I wouldn't learn anything. But there's the evolution, right? So it depends on the person being taught, then he develops your art. But still, you owe him freedom for what you have become. Here's what, if we're talking about evolving, right? Yeah. So from Sir Kiko's time, yeah. did he develop certain concepts or techniques on yeah. his own and then passing on to you and then you started to also evolve the yes. system? Or do you stay traditional from what they taught? He sticks with the traditional way. I stick with the Larga Sapado way from all these three. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're blending it. There are different expressions. Different expressions, but then the roots are still. Yeah. But never change. Yeah, never change. So it's named Kalupaan. Mm -hmm. So that's why we. It's Kalupaan Topado Association. Okay. Okay. K A. Yeah. K A T A. K -A -T -A. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's K, then small A. Right, right. Then capital T, then capital A. Right. Capital a. Okay. It's kata. Right. Okay. So one more question, po. Yes. Um, so how can we use the coffee stick? As opposed to rattan. This is sturdy. This is sturdy. Okay. Yeah, this is stronger. Than rattan. And and than rattan. Than rattan. Actually, yeah. if we do this, Close. something like this, the exchange, there's friction. There's friction. This can hold. This can hold. Even for like hours of practicing. Mm -hmm. And 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 one thing good, because if we break this one, then it's firewood already. <laughs> then we can use it for cooking. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it was easier to find. And this isn't fire hardened or anything, it's just natural, you just take the bark off. Yeah. 
Just take the bar. Yeah, I was expecting it to shatter. Yeah. Right. So you can find this more than uh, rattan? Yes, yes, oh, okay. nowadays, nowadays. Oh, wow. Because rattan, actually, you have to go to the forest. After a few days in Bacolod, we headed straight to Hinigaran, the birthplace of Professor Remy Presas, the founder of Modern Arnis. It was the grand opening of the Hinigaran Arnis Training Center. Many Modern Arnis or former Modern Arnis practitioners attended the event. I also got to witness the next generation of practitioners. Before the ceremony started, Tuhan Nanoy Garucho brought some blades for those interested in buying. Man, I should have brought an extra suitcase. All right, nice. nice. Video. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Some oil here. Yeah, so it doesn't rust. Yeah. As soon as Jose Nadi Arcio, the mayor of Hinigaran, arrived, many gave speeches about the late Professor Remy Presas. Thank you, thank you very much for initiating this uh, program and events for Hinigaran. I know you are true-blooded Hinigarano, and you love much your, the sport of harness, and it's why you think about it, you try to get back to the sport that is accompanied by Hinigaran. So in behalf of the municipality of Hinigaran, I truly thank you and appreciate very much your effort sa pag balik sa isang sports dito sa Banua sa Hinigaran. I truly welcome all the visitors and friends of Hinigaran and rest assured, please just feel free and enjoy what Hinigaran can offer you. Many guest instructors gave speeches about their memories of the late professor and their memories training modern Arnis. They all talked about how they are proud for the grand opening of the Arnis Training Center and the birthplace of the late professor. We also witnessed the next generation of Arnisadors as they demoed and performed for the audience. former and current practitioners of modern Arnis, as well as other guests, paid tribute by performing as well. Fast forward to the ribbon cutting ceremony at the new Arnis Training Center for lunch. We were entertained by more demos from the next generation of students. Afterwards, we headed straight to the resort for the final week of the event. Instructors included GM Rene Tongston of Abanico Tres Puntas, GM Rodel de Gook of the Gook Arnis system and Gat Puno Bayet of Garimot Arnis training. See, I look at my hand there, see, and then push, grabbing the head, see. When you're grabbing the head, you're using this. Pa, he slips, see, he starts to slip. Then, ba, pa, see, there. You feel it? Then you pull. And look at this, see? It can, it can be this one, or can it be this one? Yeah. It, 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 you see, because it will pull in like this. So when you push up to lay, it's not pushing this way, going up. 
So you 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 disorient. He doesn't see you. No no, you punch me. This one. This is really the Hey! When I do this one, this is brick. You see, when he tried to block this one, when he tried to block this one, I'm going to fire this way, this one goes in. I I I switch. If you already see. Yeah, Polso. Still Polso. Yeah. Tuhan Noi and GM Felix Ginabo also came down from Bacolod to continue teaching. So we are we are first dealing with you. So hurry, hurry, and bring it down. Shoot. Mm. Okay. Now from here, don't do this. Elbow close. To avoid counter. So again, knuckle break, wrist break. Elbow break, neck break. So in one motion again, slowly. One, two, three, oh. and four. That was slow. <laughs> All right? Go oh. ahead. Control. And in between breaks, the GMs relax with, of course, more karaoke. How did you know I, do not I need someone like you in my life? As Russian House 2023 came to a close, many participants had time to reflect on the three week event. Great opportunity to uh, train with many of the grandmasters and head instructors of all of the different types of styles that I've been training back at home, as well as the opportunity to learn some new styles. Of course, uh, the teaching, the quality of teaching, especially uh, from uh, GM Bayet that I discovered this year, and uh, Master, Grand Master Rene and uh, and so, so I just I was just there to witness all the things. It was interesting that it was good that, that uh, GM Felix brought in the Tapato guys, and uh, they were a really badass crew. My favorite part, I think, is uh, Barakai part, and after a Cebu part because uh, I pass an exam in this uh, in this year, an exam on FQI, Balintawa, Karen Skurintada. I'm very happy. What stood out? The camaraderie. Camaraderie, definitely. You know, even with language barriers, um, spending this much time with the same group of people and training with them. Everyone knows as a martial artist, the more you train with someone, the closer you get to them. Uh, so that and seeing the bigger universe of FMA coming from the U.S. and only you know pretty much being familiar with the U.S. scene for so many years to be able to see it back in the Philippines and see the network and see how everyone's connected and see the camaraderie there, not just between us at camp, but between the different GMs and the different styles. It's it's really humbling to, to see. The beach is awesome, food are awesome, people are awesome, so yeah, I'd, I'd do it again. What's uh, What was your favorite part about Russian House this year? Tanduay. <laughs> <laughs> We all headed back to the airport and went back to Cebu. My flight back to the United States was the next day, but some stayed a few more extra days. Everything was a blur, but I enjoyed the camaraderie of the GMs and the participants. It was bittersweet because I didn't have a chance to explore more, and this was the first time back since I was a kid. I felt bad that I couldn't meet up with some relatives, but I had to go back home to pack and get ready for my move to Arizona. Until next time, Filipinas, I don't know when I'm going to be back, but I definitely need to stay longer than three weeks. Sige, ingat, maraming pagmamahal sa inyong lahat. While I was traveling, people were asking where can they get FMA Pulse t-shirts. You can go to our store on YouTube, but for some reason, not all of our stuff shows up. So I recommend going to the FMA Pulse website clicking on merch, and then you can see all of our stuff available from t-shirts, long sleeves, tank tops, hoodies, and coffee mugs. Mm -hmm.